I guess we will all agree that the period from the middle of March until now has been a challenging time for us. There have been those who have been shielded, confined to barracks for four months. The over 70s are advised to stay indoors because of their vulnerability. The stress of filling the car with petrol or going to the shops because of the perceived infection risks. Then the young people and the fiasco over their exam grades, putting their chances of going to university at risk, not being allowed to go to church and so on and so forth. However, there have also been opportunities. Did you spot them? Did you take advantage of them? What were they? Gathering, socially distanced of course, in the street every Thursday with our brass instruments to one of the essential workers and the NHS, which gave the opportunity to meet and get to know neighbours that we should have known years ago. The chance to give these people encouragement and to receive that in return. The opportunity to spend time at home with the family. The chance to slow down and do things at a pace that lends itself to reflection. The chance to listen to the voice of God and hear it. The chance to take stock. The chance to spend proper time with the Lord and to get to know him better. The Zoom sessions on a Sunday and a Tuesday have been a special time for me. The Tuesday ones would never have happened. The Sunday ones wouldn't have been needed, of course. Even the Friday ones with the band have been good, though quizzes are not my forte and it's a good job nobody knew our score. A particular interest and blessing have been the summer sharing sessions. I have found myself drawn very close to the Lord here, especially when our own folks have been involved. Certain promises of the Lord to us have been fulfilled for me. I can't answer for you, but if you haven't discovered this for yourself, why not test it and see that it is true? Nothing will separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Romans 8 verses 38 and 39 nothing in all creation including a virus my grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in weakness second corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9 no matter how challenging how difficult how seemingly hopeless things become jesus has it covered i proved it in the past and nothing has changed no doubt Many of you know this to be true also. During my own devotions and searching, I came across the words given by a wise Christian mother to a complaining son. If the mountain was smooth, how would you ever climb it? If the mountain was smooth, how would you ever climb it? Fifteen years ago, I went with the family to Australia and during that time, David and I climbed Ayers Rock, or Uluru, as the Aborigines call it. The surface of that rock is incredibly smooth, and it's incredibly difficult to climb as a consequence. There are metal stakes drilled into the rock with chains running between them to help people to find the leverage that they need to make progress. The smoothness is not an advantage, it's a disadvantage. There are plenty of scriptures that tell us that life's more difficult experiences help to de develop us as people. I guess for many of us, it must seem that we have been climbing a mountain over the last few months, and maybe some of us still are. The world is praying for a vaccine, and scientists globally are working to develop one that works. Those in Oxford have a very promising one, and the rumour is that this might all be over by Christmas. Then people will return to the hustle and bustle of so-called normal life and maybe the Lord will be squeezed out and put on one side 
again. Have you developed as a person, as a Christian, considering your own spiritual journey? Have you taken the opportunity to climb higher? Have you progressed in your life with the Lord? If so, then great, continue to do so. If not, don't put it off a moment longer. Perhaps you might like to join with me in a simple prayer just now. I'm going to use the words of an old chorus and then there is a short video song to listen to which I just know you will enjoy. Thank you Jesus for opportunities. Lord lift me up then I shall stand by faith on heaven's table land. A higher plane than I have found. Lord plant my feet on higher ground. Oh 